Hi, my name's Rachel, and today we're going to be cooking sautéed green beans and tofu with garlic and pine nuts. This dish is full of vegetables, protein, antioxidants, and monounsaturated fats that'll leave you a lean, mean fighting machine. It'll make your friends green bean with envy. <laughs> For this dish, you'll need green beans, diced semi-firm tofu, pine nuts and crushed garlic, extra light or virgin olive oil to taste, lemon pepper, black peppercorn, and any salt of your choosing. First, cut the ends off of the green beans and throw them away. I've never met a person who liked to eat the end of the green beans. Green beans are high in vitamins A, K, C, B6, and folic acid, and regular ingestion has been linked to reducing heart disease, colon cancer, diabetes, and has even been good for your eyes. Next, we dice our tofu into small, easily cooked cubes. Tofu is a wonderful protein in your meal, as it contains only 5 grams of fat for every 16 grams of protein. Next, on to seasoning. Salt, a preservative, lemon pepper, which is good for liver function and blood circulation, and peppercorn, a digestive aid, are all added to pine nuts and garlic, both of which help to lower cholesterol and boost energy. Most of the ingredients in this recipe can be found at major supermarkets in the produce pantry section or at farmers markets across the country. Green beans were a key food in the ancient Mesoamerican diet. With their high energy yield, short growth time, and little to no prep time, they make a handy dandy dietary staple. Tofu was and is a goliath on the culinary landscape of the Asian continent and is transformed from its bland, pale state into a variety of wondrous dishes with native spices. This is one source of protein that ain't tofooling around when it comes to proper nutrition. <laughs> Garlic has been used in homeopathic remedies since its discovery as a dietary aid, and for centuries was believed to be the cure for many varieties of poisoning and sepsis. With a medium skillet, turn the stove on to a medium heat. Add a bit of oil to the pan just to coat the bottom and ensure that your green beans don't stick when they begin cooking. Mix the green beans into the oil, ensuring that you don't get splattered by any spraying hot oil. Thirdly, add the crushed garlic, pine nuts, and seasoning to the green beans and allow it to sit on the stove top for two to three minutes, stirring occasionally, before adding your diced, drained tofu. Tofu is a staple food in many East Asian countries, as it is a wonderful source of iron, calcium, minerals, and vitamins, and contains all eight essential amino acids. Green beans have been a part of South and Central American diet for over 7,000 years. Now that's a hearty vegetable. Well, the food cooks, let me tell you about a few things you can do on your own without any fancy help. Getting your five fruits and vegetables a day can be important, and here are a few that you can grow in your very own backyard. Oranges, while sugary, are a great source of vitamin C. Incredibly high in dietary fiber, vitamin B and B1, they're a great way to get the needed calcium in your diet while still drinking something delicious. Broccoli's got a bad rap, but this pretty little bush will grow into one of the most nutritious and delicious vegetables you could possibly eat. Broccoli is an amazing source of vitamin K, C, chromium, and folate. It's got magnesium, phosphorus, choline, and has even been shown to slow the advances of cancer and improve bone density. Now that the tofu, mixed veggies, and seasoning has sat on the stove for five to six minutes, the tofu should be al dente, the vegetables lightly seared, and it should be ready to serve. For the best results, serve and eat the dish hot. And if you want to get fancy, add a splash of lemon juice on top. And that's all. The human body will always need food. So preparing and eating home-cooked meals is a great way to ensure you get enough of the proper nutrients, vitamins, and minerals to live a long, happy, and delicious life.